सो हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम टू रिफ्रेश कोडिंग माय नेम इज़ मधुलिका एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाउड ट्रेल सो वॉट इज क्लाउड ट्रेल क्राउड क्लाउड ट्रेल इज बेसिकली इट कंटिन्यूसली लॉग योर ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट एक्टिविटी सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाई अकाउंट एक्टिविटी अकाउंट एक्टिविटी मीन्स हु इज लॉगिंग हु इज डूइंग वॉट विच यूजर इज डूइंग वॉट एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो what it does how it works it capture it record the activity in aws service as aws cloud trail events and then it stores it so aws cloud trail delivers events to the cloud trail console and amazon s3 bucket so it will by default it will create a bucket for you and it will store the events in your bucket and optionally it will, it can store the events in cloudwatch logs also so how it acts so it use amazon cloud watch alarms and events to take action when important events are detected and review the event monitor all your events you can detect if some unusual events are happening and you can stop them and all those things so basically uh, how many types of cloud trail events are there so we have three types of cloud trail events management event data event and insight events so we will see what is a management event so management event provide information about management operations that are performed on resources in your aws account these are also known as control plane operations example what are the management events for example configuring security for example aws identity and access management attach role policy api operations so these are your management events means the is the these events are happening if you want to manage certain things in your aws account for example registering devices amazon ec2 create default vpc api operations configuring rules for routing data for example amazon ec2 create subnet api operation setting up logging for example aws cloud trail create trail api operations so let me tell you one thing that this management events are by default there means even if you create a cloud trail for your account or not but all your management events are logged after this we have data event so what is data events so data events provide information about the resource operation performed on or in a resource for example uh, suppose if you are working with dynamo db and you are working you are doing some activity on a table so for example you are doing put item delete item update item api operation so this will be considered as a data event because you are doing some event on the data or you can say database aws lambda function execution activity also will come under the data event and these are also known as data plane operations and data events are often high volume activities like you are performing some events on some high volume databases and one more thing to remember database data events are not by default like on you will have to on them manually if you want to work with them now the last one what are insight events so what is insight event so insight events capture unusual api call rate or error rate activity in your aws account by analyzing cloud trail management activity so suppose it will analyze your cloud trail management activity and it will see if something unusual is happening like for example if uh, you can see if your account typically logs no more than 20 amazon s3 delete bucket api calls per minute but suddenly your account starts to log an average of 100 delete bucket api calls per so this is unusual so this will be caught under the insight event and this is also you will have to enable it manually and insight event is logged at the start of the unusual activity and another insight event is logged to mark the end of that unusual activity so when the unusual activity will start one insight event will be logged at that time and the other one is logged when your unusual activity stops so this way it will capture all the insight events and it will keep it in a separate folder separate bucket so that you can see it so now practically we will see how we can create this events 
so here uh, it is basically known as cloud trail event so if suppose i want i will go here and i will say create a trail okay and here by default it will take the trail name as management events as i told you management events are by default there so let it be management events or you can give here any name not a problem and trail log bucket and folder so this is the log bucket means s3 bucket automatic will be created for this event and one thing to remember though there is no cost to log this event but you incur charges for the s3 bucket that we create to store your logs means if you are creating the events are not chargeable for management events there is no charge but the s3 bucket is chargeable so if you don't want please delete that s3 bucket anyway we will see that at the end right now i will create the trail okay so if you can see this is our event which is created sorry cloud trail which is created and this is the s3 bucket if i'll go through this s3 bucket so right now if you can see this is a bucket cloud trail if i'll click on this and right now no object is there because it is just created and no events has been done up as of now so it is just empty bucket is created after this suppose if now right now no cloudwatch logs uh, log groups are there but if you want to enable you can enable and management event also if you can see it is right now it is capturing all your api activity so if you want to edit it this also you can edit and you can you know give other permissions according to yourself like read write exclude uh, am aws kms events exclude amazon rds data api event if you want to do this settings or uh, you can do or else if you see there suppose you want to enable the data events and insight events also like i told you by default management event will be there but if you want to enable the data event and insight event also you can just go here edit and just click here data events so it will enable the data events but remember data events are chargeable they are not free so if you may, will do save changes it will save it and it will enable the data events for you and you can see in the s3 bucket the logs for data events also so right now i will not enable it because i don't need it after that same goes for insight events also if you want to enable it manually you can just go here click here and you can enable it so it will also choose insight types like uh, api call rate or api error rate and whatever you want you can click from from here and it will work according to that after that once you are done with your uh, let's say cloud trail you can just stop logging if you don't want to log anymore even you can delete your trail if you don't need it because the s3 bucket it will keep keep on creating the data in the s3 bucket and that is chargeable and after that once you are done with all those things just come back to buckets also because this s3 bucket is something which is chargeable okay see it has created one folder where it has created the logs see here even though we have not done uh, much events but still it has created a folder and all those things so the first thing i will do what i will come back here and i will say action and will delete it and i will go here and i will give permanently delete and after this i will go back to this bucket and here in buckets and i will delete it okay so in this video we have seen what is uh, 
AWS Cloud Trail and how to create a trail, how to deal with the S3 bucket, how to work with management events, data events and insight events and how to delete the trail also. So if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.